Hey viewers, welcome to another game of Schedule Pro Gamer. Today we are once again doing a daily challenge from Bloons Tower Defense 5. And today we only have um, blue t uh, towers with blue in them. And, or, well, one of the stages is blue, let's just call it that. And um, we only have, or, well, well, we have a lot of blue balloons, which means we have a lot of MOABs. And MOABs are, of course, always a problem when they come quicker than round 46, because the first time you play, you won't know which wave it is. Well, in this case, it is wave number 40. And although the first time I was almost prepared, I didn't quite make it. Because, um, yeah, I did kill them, but yeah, <laughs> then a second wave came and <laughs> it completely wiped out everything. Anyway, yeah, I had the money available because I had the banana farms like now. But uh, I, well, I didn't sell them before the round. And during the round, it's always such a mess that I completely forgot. Well, I couldn't just get it to work. So I had to play the second time, uh, going exactly the same strategy, which is, uh, as you can see, a very flimsy defense, because this is easy, so everything is relatively cheap, and um, going into uh, the airplane as soon as I can, one of the balloons gets through there, uh, one of the um, pink ones, I don't know why, because they should have focused that balloon really early, <laughs> Because it uh, it ran through completely, well, unharmed. And everything except for the airplane has actual targeting. So I don't, didn't really understand that. Yeah, the airplane just shoots at the closest balloons at all times. So, yeah, th that one has an excuse. The other ones really don't have an excuse. Anyway, um, it doesn't matter. Uh, we're going to build one more of these... Uh, uh, banana farms after we upgrade the plane. There goes the upgrade on the plane. One more banana farm. I'm keeping everyone at uh, 1 and 0. You can upgrade them to 2 and 0. That way you will get more money. But I had plenty of money. And now we're going for snipers because I love snipers. And most of them are going to be 2 and 3. But uh, in one of the previous daily challenges I discovered that the 4 and 2 my, uh, yeah, the 4 and 2 sniper is excellent. It is such a good one because it stops all of the MOABs. If you have multiple MOABs, it just stops all of them. And uh, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted at some point because uh, if you don't know how many of them there are coming, you want to just group all of them in the same place. So stop them, stop the first one every time. And by doing that, you will uh, have the, the airplanes do extra damage to all of them. Because they do AOE damage. So anyway, yeah, with uh, three snipers we already have this. But I'm going to build more and more. But because, well, I have the money anyway. Why not? So as you can see, large groups of MOABs coming in. But it's not a problem. I have two airplanes at full upgrades. And they will shoot down everything that I can think of. And yeah, a fort sniper there. We're going to just add more and more and more. Although, as I said, it's not really necessary. Because the two airplanes can take care of everything on their own. And here goes the first four and two. And now you will see that MOABs don't even reach the the front of the screen because they will stop and well not all of them of course but you should set them to uh, to either first or closest or whatever last um, you should vary the the targets I accidentally built a uh, two and three there uh, sniper because I was planning on going multiple four and twos but there's another four and two coming in There you go, and now the balloons just get completely frozen in the beginning. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny, but uh, yeah, I was wondering why this only went to level 60. I mean, it's so easy that we might as well continue after level 60, but yeah, well, not the one coming up with this. So anyway, this was um, a very easy one, but a very fun one. 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Chee chee.